This is FE Peer Review. The date is October the 5th, 2022. British tabloid The Sun posts fake news about Ukraine. On September 5th, a month ago, The Sun posted this video and said in their description, the footage shows a huge explosion, etc., the footage was posted by the Office of Strategic Communications of the Armed Forces of Ukraine via Telegram. We'll look at just a little bit of it here. I'm not going to play much. I've turned the volume off. I don't want to get some kind of copyright strike. I have the right to play a little bit because I'm commenting on this. I am not stealing it. So here we go. What we're seeing is an ammunition depot. And as it says in the description, Kharkiv. It's in the northeast of Ukraine. And we are going to see an explosion happen here. We've got some trees in the background. We've got some specific smoke patterns we can recognize. All right, that's enough. We've seen enough. There's more, but we've seen enough for, to make our point. You'll see the URL up here, and I'll put that in the description of the video. Now let's look at another. This is posted on October 5th, 2022. And it says a massive explosion of flames erupted in the Kherson region as Ukrainian forces destroyed a Russian ammunition warehouse, etc. And it's the sun and we've got the URL up above. And again, I'm just going to play a few seconds of it. Let's go back to the beginning. All right, there we go. It's about as much as we need. Now let's look at them both side by side. I've set them back to the start. We see this specific pattern of smoke coming up before the strike. Apparently there's already been probably some kind of smaller strike. You can see it's coming off to the, to the right and there's a couple of humps here. And here we see it's coming off to the right. There's a couple of humps. There's a line of trees behind. There's a line of trees behind. The video on the left and the video on the right appear to be of exactly the same event taken from two cameras in two different locations but approximately in line. It looks to me like the camera on the right is higher up and the one on the left is a little lower. But that's not important. What's important is we will now run them both and you can see them side by side. All right, that's enough. Might not even be two different cameras. It might just be that the, the one on the left was cropped from the original, which was, I'm calling the original because it's a month earlier. So the Sun has posted the same material twice, one month apart, claiming it's two different locations and two different events. I left them a comment here. I'll read you my comment. This footage is identical to footage posted by The Sun on September 5th in which they claimed it was an explosion in the Kharkiv region and provided the following source, the Office of Strategic Communications of the Armed Forces of Ukraine via Telegram. Now, one month later, The Sun posts the very same footage again, claiming it is the Kherson region. This is journalism. Get your act together. I am a huge supporter of Ukraine and have been since the invasion really began in 2014 when Western media outlets post misinformation like this, they are harming Western and Ukraine efforts because they open the doors to claims of fake news by the likes of Putin. This huge blunder undermines the reliability of all the information that the Sun gives us. And that's the problem. They have got to do a better job. Now, how did I find out about this? Well, ironically enough, I saw this video today. I had not seen the earlier one. And YouTube, in the feed um, that it provided, had a link to the earlier one. Right there, The Sun. Four weeks ago, Ukrainian forces blow up Russian ammo depot. I thought, oh, great, I'm going to take a look at that. Must be another report. I failed to register when I looked at that, that it was actually the same organization putting up the video as The Sun in both cases. I went to the, to the linked video, and then I saw, hey, wait a minute, that's exactly the same thing. 
And then I saw that it was actually the same company posting the same thing twice a month apart and calling it two different things. This is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous reporting from The Sun. They should really be ashamed of this. All right, that's enough outrage for today. I'm going to go do something else now that's a little more pleasant. You all have a great day. Remember to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Share this with video with people. And go over to The Sun and file a complaint. Let them know that this is wrong. I've provided links in the description. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, folks.